our um, lab was finding the diameter of human hair, and I mean that what's inside me. Um, I'm Josiah Cannon. I'm Bruce from the second. Um, one of the things I really like the most about Slack uh, is that uh, tour, tour, first of all, touring around uh, and seeing all the facilities in the area, and also listening to all the lectures of all, uh, all the people, some of which uh, I see here now. Yeah, and I really like um, the lectures because I learned how like different sciences can be applied to find new discoveries in, in human history. Um, I really liked our lab because it was really detailed and very interesting. Um, the purpose of this experiment was designed to calculate the diameter of the human hair using, uh, by using three methods in order to find a common result, practice using mathematical equations and physical formulas, try to work and co collaborate with others to reach an main goal, and to uh, ultimately have fun while doing it all. Um, the, our, our group used a lot of different methods and formulas to obtain our results during this experiment. We also had a set and limited amount of materials in which we used all to our advantage. Some of these materials include a microscope, a small laser, don't worry, it wasn't dangerous at all, uh, a meter stick, some half-fold materials such as paper clips, and of course the Arizona scouts. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one method we used was um, a laser, and we used that to uh, measure the diffraction. And basically diffraction um, is caused when a laser sort of collides with an object, and it causes um, over here, so we saw over here in the diffraction is what it's set in. And then um, this is how we set it up, and you can see over here we have a piece of hair, that's where the light is, and it went through that, and then created that image over there. And each line um, that I traced, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are like three lines on the right and three on the left. Those are called fringes, and we basically measured um, the distance between each um, fringe to measure like the hair. And then this is the, the diamond reflection. And um, ultimately, we uh, used uh, this formula over here to find the diameter. <coughs> and uh, they're very common numbers, so we showed the accuracy. All right, we also used a micrometer, which is an instrument that you can use to find the diameter of a small uh, a piece, a small object. And it's, you use it, well, those two metal punches, those, those metal things open up, and you put your object through there, and you twist the thing, or twist the handle, and it will show up on the screen, like, what the, how, uh, which, why did you do it on Also, we use a microscope. So we tape down the piece of hair on a, a, a slide, and then we looked through the microscope and counted each millimeter. Thank <laughs> you.